My name's Nick Capaldi, and I'm going to be answering some questions today for Leaf Power Television. What first brought me to the music industry? Well, it would have been 1994, Blair's Park Life had just been released. My sister brought it home on a cassette and showed it to me. And something about the artwork and the look of the band, I just had to put it on and listen to it, and I loved it. That coincided with my primary school starting lessons, music lessons, and I chose guitar. Then I progressed to another teacher. Ken Watkins. The interesting thing about Ken is he'd written his own song, so I then became obsessed with, well that's the, the next step, I need to write my own song. So I dared to show it to my little sister, she seems to have played a real part here, of course, um, and she loved it, and I continued. And over the next couple of years I had a master folder of about 300 songs, and then I got into the Beatles, Bob Dylan, Neil Young, and just wanted to be a successful recording artist one day. Can I share the story of my latest project album? Yes, I can. 
um, it was here in this studio where it all started. And it was the first album that I'd made in this studio that uh, my wife and I built uh, called Echo Town. And as you can see, it's got amazing, lovely equipment, which I've, I've never had the option to just spend as much time making a record not been on the clock before. So I, I got all the greatest session musicians I could get. Um, we had people like Albert Lee, um, the London Community Gospel Choir came down, um, Robin McIntosh, BJ Cole on pedal still, he played with Elton John, Liam Gallagher, people like that. And I just wanted to make the biggest production I'd ever done. I wanted, I wanted to make my masterpiece basically. Um, and that's why it took eight months and I really made sure I was happy with it, every aspect of it, even down to the artwork, which has won awards as well. So I think it's won three awards now for the photographer and the album itself has, has, uh, has won the original music award, which is lovely, for best recorded work recently. Who inspired me? The Beatles, Blur, Bob Dylan, I think, I think really melodic bands like Def Leppard, even though I don't really make that kind of music. But I still take inspiration from everything that I listen to. And later years, Ryan Adams, um, he became a big influence for me. What's my creative songwriting process like? It's usually the same. I'll just noodle around on the guitar until I find some chords that I like and then I'll hum over them or sing any old sort of rubbish just to get it going and if it feels like something I've progress with I'll um, usually do a little video of, of myself on, on, on my phone just to remember the chords and I'll say that I'll then we go to a chorus go to here a G minor here uh, and then look at it next day and if it still sounds good I'll persevere and finish it What's an average day like for me? Well, I'm not a morning person. It takes me a while to get going. Um, I really love the evenings. We have lots of animals, so it's like feeding time at the zoo in the morning. I don't know, it's never the same really. It, seems, it tends to be different things all the time. Like one day I'll be off to London for the day, or working here in the studio, it's like filming the music videos, and then maybe in the evening, a nice glass of wine and a chill. What's the meaning behind my music? Well, it varies really between song, song to song. Uh, one song could be about somebody that I know, uh, a place that I know, and they'd all have separate meanings. So as a whole, my music really doesn't have any message or meaning. I'm not a political writer or anything like that. I just like to write nice melodic songs that I look forward to recording. How do I overcome challenges? Well, I try to think rationally, try not to panic, and just approach it one step at a time. What's the best concert I attended and why? That would have been when I just got into Tears for Fears music. And when I get into something, I really get into it. I have to buy everything they've done. So we booked to go and see them at, where was it, Longleat. So it was an outdoor concert. So I was amazed how great the sound was. Might, might have been just where we were sat, the stillness of the evening. Yeah, it was magic. Absolutely brilliant. And they played fantastic. So that's my favourite gig, even though I've been to a lot of good, good ones. What's my favourite song to perform? Well, if it was a cover, then it would be Ryan Adams and My Sweet Carolina. I sometimes like to pretend that I wrote that song. And if it's one of mine, maybe um, You and All the Seasons, the title track from the album. Stories told of days grown old What are my favourite music venues to play? That would be the Tivoli Theatre in Wimborne. I absolutely love that place. I used to go there a lot to watch other people. and still do. Um, including Albert Lee, who was on my new album. Um, it's, it's a beautiful old theatre. And I'm due to play there again, actually, 5th of September this year.
sleep with your sweetest dreams and smile And no, there won't be another chance There don't seem to be no sleep for you down here I kiss you, then we must say goodbye So I'm on a few social medias and if you'd like to go to nickcapoldi.com all my social media links are there and you'll find music videos, live performances, interviews, etc.
This is Nick Capaldi and Odie, and you've been watching Leafpile Television.